Yo, what up, peeps? It's yours truly, Kelvin DeVoe. Welcome back to our channel. You already know what we do here is we teach coaches and service-based business owners how they can automate some of those essential tasks for their business so that they can scale it faster. But today I want to talk about something a little different. And yes, I am doing this whole segment with my frames on, but that's exactly who we're talking about. But the subject of today is why it's still a good thing for business owners to provide some humanism to their business. Why it's still a good thing for business owners to add that personal touch to their business. While it's still a good thing for business owners not to become too detached from their business and how that can positively impact your business if you do those things. Now to get back to the topic why I'm wearing these frames all day is because this is my favorite eyewear brand. The name is James Oro. And I've known about James for a couple years now. So fun fact is I actually learned about him from one of my favorite rappers. Uh, his name is Schooly. And one thing that Schooly does on Instagram, anytime he puts a picture up, he always tags what he's wearing, his shoes, his uh, his pants, his frames, his hat. You know, if anything is custom made or made by a designer, um, he tags those people. And so one day I noticed that he tagged his frames. I really liked them, looked that guy up. Um, love this race. I was like, okay, snap. Like, yeah, I need me some new frames. So next time I need a pair, I'm gonna just go to James Oro. So surprisingly enough, like it always happens to us, right? Once we come across something, we start seeing all the ads, right? I know you've been there. You thought about something, heard something from somebody, then pretty soon you just start seeing the ads. So it's like social media just knows those things. But um, I've purchased a few pair. When I say few, um, the archetypes what I have here now, they're my fifth pair. My first pair was actually the Nobles. Um, that was back in 2020, I believe, maybe 2021. Um, that was my first pair. After the Nobles, I bought some black and clear caviars. After that, I bought the Amours. Uh, which were green and then now I have these that are black again sort of like my nobles um, These are the archetypes. So this is my fifth pair and along the way anytime that I bought something from James Oro Just like you know Schooly did I tagged him in those posts. So, you know over these past few years of me being um, Familiar with his brand anytime I posted something, you know, he's commented he's like um, he's just, you know, showing that, hey, I see you, you know, keep doing your thing, you know, I appreciate you for buying just, you know, small things, nothing too big. So I was uber, uber appreciative of the fact that he did that. So when I bought the archetypes and I've just had them, by the time you're watching this video, I've only had these frames for maybe 10 days. Um, so when I purchased them, of course, I took a picture, I uploaded, I'll put the picture somewhere up here. Um, but he DM'd me and he's like, hey man, let me know how you like the archetypes. He said they're a little different from the nobles, which they are, they're a different spin, they're heavier, um, they have some features. Now I'll probably do a product review. Um, once I tell you what I'm about to tell you, I do a product review on the two frames. But anyway, he's like, hey, let me know what you think. So I told him immediately what I liked about them, um, how they felt, uh, the, the the quality of them, the, the fact that this end piece right here is now taken away, which is there on the noble. Again, I kind of show you in a product review. Um, but I like how the fact of how well they were put together and what kind of structure and uh, design it does for my face. And, you know, for a lot of people um, who just like nice quality frames that aren't boring, that aren't just generic. You know, James Oro, his brand does a really good job of designing like art, the way that the frames are placed on your face and how they come across. So I just love the James Oro brand. Um, I love what he's doing. I love how he has just that unique touch on the eyewear and the frame industry. So major shout out to him. And again, I posted the photo just like, you know, one of my favorite rappers did. And so James saw the photo. He said, hey man, let me know, you know, how you really like the frames. They're a little different than the nobles. Let me know what you think about them. So I told him immediately what I thought about them. And he wrote me back. And he said, man, that's good to know. And what I said to him was, is that, hey, man, these frames right here, these archetypes, these are going to replace my everyday frames, which were previously the nobles. And I told him that, hey, man, you know, along the way, I've broken the end pieces on my nobles. Like both of them have just fell off completely. I don't know how. Now, James, he has a warranty, right? But because of how they broke, which I don't really know. I wear them all the time. I like them. I love them. For those people that just have those things, those essential things throughout the day, if something happens, you really don't know because you use it so much. So I didn't know if I qualified for a warranty, but 
when he DM'd me, I let him know, like, hey, man, you know, my nobles have kind of broken. I've been kind of, like, you know, using rubber bands and kind of so I can use them again. Uh, I was like, but, you know, they're gone. So, like, these are definitely going to replace my everyday. So he was like, man, how did that happen? And actually, I kind of put the screenshot up here. But basically, I kind of told him I didn't really know. He said, hey, man, don't really worry about it. Just email help at jamesoral.com. Give this message to uh, one of his assistants, and she'll send you out a brand new pair. Now, to me, that's awesome. Because James, he did not have to do that. This was him personally. He did not have to say, hey, man, sorry that happened to you. Uh, email our, our our helpline and they will get you a brand new pair of replace for free. Um, that was really big because it's not like he checked me for a warranty. It's not like he did those things. But he knew, one, that I was engaged with his brand, that I was a previous customer, and that, you know, I always speak good things about his brand. So maybe that could have motivated him. But what I really just believe is that he's just a good person. I really believe that the owner behind this James Oro brand is a good person. And that was just an actionable way of him kind of proving that. And the reason why I say that it's a good thing for business owners not to get too detached from their business. And it's a good thing for business owners to still provide that personalization and that personal touch to their business. Because if he had have handled that situation in a different way, if he was mean, if he just didn't care, if he just came off as shrewd, um, I probably wouldn't continue to, to be the lifer and, and, and the, and the backer and the champion for the brand that I am. But because he took time, he listened, he's like, hey, man, I can really help you out. You know, you know, you've been supporting. Hey, man, you know, here's a free pair. Just, you know, go, don't don't go through all that hassle. Just do this. You're getting a free pair. That spoke to me. And I think more business owners need to follow that lead. A lot of times people may DM us or they may write us and they say, hey, you know, I had trouble with this. or I really didn't get this. And because it's not in the scope of our work, because it wasn't outlined in a contract, because we've already gotten paid, Sometimes business owners tend not to care, but if I would tell you anything, it would be learn from James Oro, which is, hey, still care for people, you know, treat people nice when you can and provide that kind of personal touch that makes your brand, not just some corporation or some company, but it is a legit community that cares about the people that come in, taking care of them, providing them with, you know, stylish things or valuable things or whatever it is that you do. But that's why you should never become too detached from your business. And I just want to say, hey, James, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for looking out for me, bro. I love what you're doing in the eyewear industry. I love how you put art um, with class and you just make these uh you just make these things stand out and a lot of times they are great conversation starters and um took i have other people to ask me you know where i get them from and i always turn them to you um and i turn them to you because yes these are some great frames but because of the way that you have the business because of the way that you go about things i just sincerely appreciate you man i appreciate the james oro brand i'm looking forward for more heat from you and i hope you guys tune in to get you guys some good frames it's the summertime um but i wear mine all throughout the year so yeah so this video uh wasn't anything super technical it wasn't anything you know particular to automations or scaling your business but it's just speaking about hey you know don't forget that you know your clients and your customers are human and they appreciate humanism especially if you exude it and you offer it so i think that will carry you and your business uh so far through the stratosphere and beyond so Hey guys, I got my frames on. I'm feeling good. Um, and I hope you guys are feeling well and having a good day as well. I'll meet you back on here. We'll have some more tips. We have some more stuff that can help you grow, make some more money and all that. But until then, you know, y'all have a good day.